Thank you so much. So hi everyone, a very warm welcome to all of you from Olympiad Success Family. So kids, uh, I'm sure you all would be knowing that uh, we have gathered here for what? So we have gathered here for what? This is a question to all of you. Lakshanya is raising her hand. Okay, I'll unmute you. Yes, Lakshanya. For studying Olympiad. For studying Olympiad, so that is... Okay. okay, so logically you are absolutely right, but yes, there is one specific answer to this. Um, Kuheli, yes, Kuheli. Yes, uh, we joined this class for uh, learn mathematics and uh, and to learn mathematics and give IMO Olympiad. All right, so there is again a confusion over here. So is this a mathematics class? Is this a mathematics class? Okay, any other child would like to speak? I will like to give an opportunity to someone else. Sitiksha, Sitiksha, for that you have to turn on your video. Okay, I'm unmuting you. Yes, Sitiksha. Ma'am, it's a science uh, class. Okay, and uh, what exactly? Ma'am, today, today, is it going to be a test or just a demo class? It is a demo class, but then uh, what is it all about? It's about Science Olympiad only. Okay. All right. So everybody is quite near and I saw Navya also raising her hand. So Navya, should I unmute you? Yes, Navya. Session about science. All right. Okay. So thank you so much, everyone, for uh, giving me these answers. So I'll just let you let you know what we are exactly here for. So kids, uh, as you all know, that we are towards the end of October, and uh, the examinations, Olympiad examinations, would be beginning from November itself, right? November, December would be the examinations, and it is a short duration wherein we can complete the entire course for. Uh, any particular subject okay so this is more of a uh, you know like a, a mock test uh, series completion i would say wherein we would be focusing on uh, tests and tests and tests okay so this is a test series course okay it's a 10 session course wherein uh, uh, we would be you know like in each session we would be taking up many questions and yeah kohel it's not a problem it is for science so that's fine and uh, so since this is, a, this is a test series course uh, with 10 sessions and in all these 10 sessions we would be covering up like we would be taking up uh, questions for your practice right so uh, that is one important thing which you should all know uh, because this is a test series course so uh, you know like covering each and every topic will not be possible in these uh, classes as we have already conducted those classes so we assume that you would be knowing uh, everything and uh, uh, yes of course your doubts would be taken up but then uh, you know like if you think that we would be taking up each and every topic and explaining everything in detail so that won't be done in this these classes okay our focus would be entirely on uh, practicing okay and uh, so today like in this session what we would be doing is first of all we would be having an introduction by Shivangi ma'am so she is going to be your mentor uh, for all these classes after that uh, Rajan sir would be taking up uh, a short presentation about this course so you would be understanding in detail like uh, what exactly this course is all about and after that we'll be having a short question and answer round so if you have any doubts queries you can write it down in the chat section and we would be answering all your queries post that we will be starting with the demo session uh, for which you all are here okay so over to shivangi ma'am so shivangi ma'am uh, welcome on board it's uh, really nice to have you on the platform so why don't you uh, give a brief about yourself a brief introduction about yourself okay thank you very much ma'am for introducing me so hi kids how are you all i hope you all are doing fine all right so let me introduce myself my name is shivangi and my educational qualifications are I have done BTEC, B.Ed. and C.Tech. And I have six year plus of experience teaching students science and maths, both online and offline. 
and today i'm here to help you with your olympiad preparations okay and as ma'am mentioned so we have organized a test series for you guys okay that will help you to boost your olympiad preparations and to help you to get better score and good rank all right and um, i'm here to solve all your doubts all your questions and queries okay so any doubts you're having you can need to ask me all right so i hope we will have a great session today so without any further delay let's get started are you guys ready show me a thumbs up kids if you guys ready thumbs up okay that's wonderful very good thank you very much thank you so much shivangi ma'am i'm sure the kids would be enjoying your demo session today and uh, the consequent and classes as well so rajan sir over to you for a brief presentation sure ma'am thank you uh, let me share my screen is it visible ma'am yes it is okay thank you so welcome students welcome to the demo interaction program for class 4 science olympiad test series course okay so firstly let me tell you about us about olympiad success so olympiad success is india's largest online preparation platform for olympiad exams we have olympiad live classes and this is our third year in live classes students we also have school plus program so in school plus program we offer eight courses that are mathematics english science logical reasoning communication communications spoken written both vedic maths as well as coding what else we also offer online cbse plus olympiad classes for grade 6 to 10 and one one preparation classes for international mathematics olympiad like sesmo cmo hkmo pimo math count us math competition math kangaroo prmo and jm preparation classes now meet the rank holder for session 21 22 so many students in olympiad success got international ranks okay now students about this course so this is actually a test series course so the objective of this course is to strengthen your olympiad preparation Okay, so there will be around twenty students in the classes, and the classes will be conducted on Zoom platform only. So there will be three sessions per week. The days will be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and the class timing will be six thirty to seven forty-five p.m. Okay, so it will be a seventy-five minute duration class, and the session will uh, we will discuss the previous year uh, questions from Olympiad. So uh, like it's a ten session course. So in all ten session, we are going to discuss previous year questions. from olympiad okay the syllabus link i will share with you in the chat box the fees for this course is uh, rupees 2500 and it's a 10 session course payment link i will share in the chat box the fees include a uh, discussion of 10 mock tests containing the previous year question that help you to uh, boost your rank in olympiads okay now to join this course what you need you need a laptop with good internet speed and headphone and students live classes for this course we will start from 28th of october and currently we having students from 3800 school and we are catering in 35 plus countries so this is about this course students now if anyone have any doubt any query uh, you can ask that okay so do anyone have any query any doubt no you can write in the chat box if you have any doubt any query i believe it's time for quiz rajan sir because there are no questions coming up in the chat section Correct. should we conduct a small quiz kids okay yes or no no <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Let, let me ask some questions to you. So, can you tell me, like, what are the days on which we have the classes? You can write in the chat box. There is a question, sir, in the chat box. Yeah. Yes. Uh, in the test series, we will be covering about all chapters. So, we are not going to cover all chapters in detail. But yeah, there will be questions from all chapters. So, we are going to discuss ten mock tests. One mock test in each session. and there will be olympiad previous year olympiad question in that so kids uh, you should understand that there is a prerequisite for joining this course so uh, as we had mentioned earlier also 
it would be uh, difficult in 10 classes to cover up the entire course and then the test series. So it is basically more focused towards, uh, you know, like your final practice kind of thing. Okay. Yes. When you answer my question, it is Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay. And uh, what is it? What is the timing for the classes? You can write in the chat box. Okay, there's a question. Uh, those 10 papers you are mentioning are those from previous exams? Yes. Yeah, yeah Rajan, sir, go ahead. Yeah, so uh, in that 10 papers, uh, in each paper, there will be questions from previous year Olympiads, okay, that we are going to discuss in the class. Is correct timing is correct. 8 30 30 30 is not correct. The class timing is 6 30 to 7 45 pm. Okay, do anyone have any other question? Any query? It is clear to everyone. Everything is clear. You can write yes, no. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, Atimam, I think then we can begin with the session. Yes, absolutely. And before that, I would like to tell once again to all the kids that since this is, you know, uh, more focused towards practice and practice, so you are going to see lots of questions coming in. So, uh, you have to communicate more. So, make complete utilization of your chat section because your ma'am would be asking you many questions and you have to write it down in the chat section. Okay. All right. Great. So over to you, Shivangi, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, sir, are you sharing that? Uh, uh, oh, ma'am, you can, you can share this. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. All right, student, is my screen visible to you all? Uh, yes, ma'am, it's visible. Okay, that's great. All right, so let's begin. Are you guys ready? Give me a second. Let me just shift this. Screen. Okay. All right, it would be really good if you open your videos also so that we can have an interactive session. And please make sure that you write down the answers in the chat box. Even if you are confused, and you think that the answer is not right, still write it down. Okay, I'm there to clarify it. All right. So do participate. More you will participate, more encouragement you will get. All right. Is that clear to everybody? Yeah, students? Okay. All right. So, uh, let's begin. Let's start with the first question. And the first question is, which of the following animals are omnivorous? Okay. So I hope everybody know what are omnivorous. Yes. Okay. So let me just tell you first what are omnivores. Omnivores are those animals which eat both the meat or the flesh. Okay. And the plant based products as well. Both of them. All right. They are the uh, common link between the herbivores and carnivores. Okay. So we are getting the answers B, 2 and 4. Okay. You want me to zoom it? Wait. <laughs> Is it visible enough now? Everybody? Uh, yes, ma'am. All right. So we are getting answer. Okay, B, D, C, all the answers are there. Okay, now let's pick. Okay, let's talk about crocodile first. So crocodile, well, it is a carnivorous animal. So we'll reject all the options which have the option number or the uh, number one. So we can reject A part. So A is definitely not the answer. Then the second is uh, it's the photo for men of human beings. So as you know, we human beings, we feed both on, uh, like we are both, uh, we meat also, flesh also, and the plant-based products also. So two can be the answer. Okay, then fox. Okay, the fox is also a carnivorous animal. And then we have deer. Deer is an omnivorous animal. So our option should have second and fourth number. 
and that is option number C. So option number C is correct. So Manvi got it right. Manav, sorry, Navya, all right, got it right. Okay, okay, okay. So Diksha as well. All right. So first, uh, uh, the question is understood to everyone. Is it clear to everyone? Please write down yes. Yes. Okay, that's great. So, so let's move forward. Let's move forward with the second question. Second question is, in which of the following changes a new substance may be formed? Okay. So let's look at all the given four options. First one is breaking a glass. Okay. So when a glass breaks, okay, so we have pieces of glasses, but still it is glass only. Right. So no a new product is formed. The glass is broken, but it is still the piece of glass. Right. Okay. Boiling of milk. So our mothers boil milk daily. So when she is boiling the milk to do milk changes to any other thing? No, right? Yes, I'm getting the answers. Very good. Okay, I know. Uh, freezing of water into ice. So this is typical one. When we are freezing a water into ice, does it change into another substance? No, it is not. Remember, it is just uh, changing uh, from the uh, liquid form to the solid form. That's it. Okay, the substance which is water is same. And then we have bursting of crackers. Okay, yes, when we burst crackers, Diwali is uh, coming, it's knocking on our doors. So you guys must be bursting crackers nowadays. Huh? So when we burst crackers, okay, so the uh, powder inside of them, it gets burned and it forms the ashes and many other products. So basically new product or new substance is formed. Okay, so the correct answer is B. Okay, so a lot of you have answered C, which is not the correct answer. So please don't get confused. When we are changing water to ice, we are just changing it from the solid liquid to the solid form. We are not changing the substance here. Okay, is the second question clear to everybody? Clear? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, anybody having any doubt, they can raise their doubts, okay, in the chat box. All right, with this note, we'll move to the next question, question number three. So, which of the following statement is correct? Okay, now, these kind of questions, they create confusion. So, we have to understand the question first. So, it is asking, the question is asking, which of the statement is correct? So, we have to pick the correct statement. All right. Okay. The first one is we should use plastic bags more and more. Should we use plastic bags more and more? No. There is a campaign going around the world and in India also that we should ban plastic. Okay. Altogether because it is not good for the environment. It is unbiodegradable. So first the statement is wrong. Second is we should allow stanchant water to stand for a long time. No. No, that's very bad. You know, especially during this season or during the rainy season, if there's a water, okay, standing somewhere, it can be a breeding ground for mosquitoes and many other insects. Okay, so this is also wrong. Third one, we should dispose of dry waste and wet waste separately. Yes, the answers are coming. Yes, most of you have answered C. That's very good to see. Very good, very good. Yes, the C is the correct answer. And why we should do so? Because uh, so that we can recycle them differently. Okay, the dry waste and the wet waste can be recycled separately. Okay, and the last one also, let's look at the last option also. We should use petrol in the place of CNG. It is wrong. Okay, we should uh, use CNG because it is a better fuel, more uh, like uh, better for the environment. Okay. All right, as compared to the petrol. So C is the right answer and all of you have got it right. So congratulations. Okay. All right. So giving right answer boosts the confidence. Yes, kids? Yes or no? Okay. We're getting some thumbs up here. Yes, you can show me the thumbs up. Okay. That will uh, help me to understand that you're following. That's great. Okay. Let's move to the fourth question. Okay. This is an important one. Which one of the following statement is incorrect? Again, we have to pick the statement which is incorrect. 
so we have to read all these statements and we have to see which one is incorrect okay all right let's see the first one is okay we are getting the answers here first okay d is the answer all right all right see also some of you are giving let's see typhoid is a water borne disease is it yes so typhoid is a water borne disease all right but we get typhoid due to polluted water okay next is deafness can be caused by noise pollution yes definitely if the noise pollution you are experienced to high level of noise for a prolonged period of time it can result in headache a uh, high blood pressure and eventually to the deafness also next is bronchitis is an airborne disease yes bronchitis is a part of your lungs okay it is present in your lungs okay and it do affects your lung and it is because of the uh, air pollution so not usually the cities which are very polluted like uh, delhi bombay all that people do suffer from uh, this disease in these cities and third one is fourth one is typhoid is caused by inhalation of polluted air so if you look at uh, option number a and b one is saying that typhoid is due to water borne disease it's a water borne disease is caused by water polluted water and d one is saying it is caused by polluted air so only one could be right so the right answer is a1 okay typhoid is caused by the polluted water or it is a water borne disease it is not not caused by the Polluted air. Yeah. Okay, so all of you are giving. Yeah, some of you are giving the answer D. Most of you have given the answer D. Okay, so no, the answer is not D. The answer is A. Oh wait, sorry. We have to find the incorrect option, na? No? Okay, so ha. Sorry, yeah. The answer is D. Incorrect is D. A, B, and C is correct. So answer is D. Clear? Is this question clear to everybody? Okay, so do remember that uh, typhoid is a water borne. Okay, D is the answer. All right. Okay, let's move to the fifth question now. Okay, so we have a figure-based question here. All right. So I hope all of you will give the right answer for this one. This is an easy one. All right. This part of the camel body indicated by X in the figure below shows which of the following substance. Okay. So camel is usually famous for storing its we call ship of the desert, okay. And camel is usually found in deserted area. All right. So it is the right answer is yeah. The right answer is B. Water. Water is the right answer. The hump of the camel is used to store the water. Okay. So the, that the camel can use this water for the Uh, for the journey for the longer duration okay once it had drank the lot of water it does not need the water again and again like us okay it can store water in its hump and can use it as and when required clear clear everybody okay all right okay another interesting question the question is asking us which of the following organ is called a pumping machine Okay, so pumping machine. Okay, so let's first understand what these uh, organs are. So, what is the first organ? Can anybody tell me? First organ is okay. Okay, I'm getting the answers here. Heart. Second, second organ is lungs. Very good. Third organ is brain. And D one stomach. Very good. Okay. so uh the organ which helps in pumping is uh, heart okay heart is the organ which helps to pump our blood okay so a is the correct answer very good lungs help us uh, in respiration brain uh, do all the uh, like all the logical and critical thinking for us and stomach is particularly uh, it is uh, needed for the digestion of food okay so a is the correct answer Okay, digestive, nervous. Okay, now we are all right. Okay, yeah, correct. A is the correct part. Very good. Let's move forward. So, are the questions? Uh, 
Elakshanya, what you can't understand here? Please write down the this question you have not understood. Am I am I moving too fast? The pace is okay, guys. Please tell me what you have not understood. If you want me to repeat the question, please tell me. Okay, I will repeat. I will repeat the question. The question has asked us that, okay, four figures are given in front of us. Four organs are given in front of us. Ma'am, I think you can unmute yourself. Yeah, so sorry for the inconvenience. Let us start again. Give me a second. Let me share my screen. Okay, screen is visible. Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. Yeah, so uh, we can. You can zoom the screen again. Yeah, I'm zooming it. Yeah. Sure. Visible enough to everybody? Uh, Ma'am, uh, yes, yes. You can, you can like uh, minimize. Yeah, a little bit. No, otherwise the question. Yeah, yeah, correct, not. correct. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, let me just quickly uh, revise this question for you guys. So, we have identified all the organs here. Okay, heart, lung brain and stomach and then we have to identify the organ which is a pumping machine for us and that will be our option number a heart okay am i clear students any doubts any questions okay all right let me just read your charts first okay. all right so let's move to the another question now let's move to the another question okay Okay, so we are on question number seven. Okay, identify the activity which is different from the other three based on the type of forces involved. Okay, so first of all, we will identify that which forces. Okay, D for D, you have given the answer. Uh, seventh question, you are giving the answer D option. Okay, let's check. So if I opening a drawer, so which kind of force I am using for opening a drawer? Can anybody write down? Pull, very good. Plucking the string of a guitar. Uh, plucking a string of a guitar is also pulling. Yes. Uh, drawing bucket from well. Okay. Either we are doing it with the help of a pulley or we are just pulling it upwards. What, which force we are using? Full force. And moving a loaded cart away from us. And for that, we are pushing it away from us. So we are pushing it. Okay. So for the four, for the first three, the force used is pull, and for the fourth one, it is push. So the right answer is push. Very good. You all of all of you got the right answer. Very nice. Very good. All right. Okay. Let's move to the question number eight now. Okay. So the question number eight is which one of the following is not a part of a green plant? Okay. So, the green plant, it includes many parts. So, let us see which one is not. We are saying C. Okay, let's see. Leaf. Obviously, leaf will definitely be a part of a green plant. Green plant, a leaves are green, right? Stem. Stem is also the part of the plant. Beak. Beak is not the part of the plant. Beak is a part of what thing? Beak means? Yes, very good bird. Okay, the birds have beak. All right, and then we have roots. So definitely, roots is also the part of the plant. So, the answer is C. Very good. Correct answer, guys. Very good. Very nice. You guys are doing really well. Okay. Okay, so let's move to the question number nine. Okay, so let's understand that whenever you will encounter these type of questions, so how will you attempt them? Okay, it's very important to understand how to attempt these type of questions. Okay, so first of all, let's read the question nicely and understand it. 
consider the following statements and choose the correct option so let's read the statements first okay okay all of you are giving the answer a some of you are answering c also okay a and c all right statement 1 is saying when a ball is thrown vertically upward it returns back to earth due to force of gravity is it correct yes or no first tell me this the statement 1 is correct or not write down yes or no <coughs> Yes, it is correct. Okay, gravitational pull pulls the things towards the earth, so the ball is coming down. Next is a moving wind has energy. It is used to produce electricity. Moving wind has energy. Yes, it does has energy, and that's why we use windmills to produce the electricity. Okay, so both the statement one and two is correct. So let's see which option matches with this. Option A. Both the statements are correct. That's it. We got our answer. Okay. So option A is correct answer. One of you have written option C. Let's go to that also. Statement one is correct and statement two is incorrect. No, both the statements are correct. That's why the answer is A. All right. Okay. Somebody is saying that he can't. So she can't hear me. Wait. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Am I audible to everybody nicely? Uh, yes, ma'am. I think you're audible. Uh, student, you can do one thing. You can log in again. Okay. Okay. Shall we move to the next question now? Okay. I I hope everything is clear till here. Okay. Okay. All right. Next question. Question number ten. Okay. Which of the following is not matched correctly with its habitat? Which one of these is it? Okay. First of all, what is habitat? Habitat is like the home. Habitat means home. Okay. So habitat is where you will find that particular plant or animal. That is called habitat. Okay. So we are getting the answer B. So we are answer. We have to answer which one is not matched correctly. Okay. So first one is cedar, and the habitat is plain. So cedar is a plant. It's a tree. Sorry. Okay. And we generally find these kind of trees in the uh, mountainous region. They have pointed, sharp leaves. Okay, you can search in the Google also for this tree. So the habitat is not plains, but it is mountain. So we can say that option A is not correctly matched. Okay, have you understood this? Let's uh, go through all the options. Cactus and desert. Yes, it is correctly matched. Right. Mango and plains. See, all of you must have seen the mango trees around you. I don't know where you guys live, but uh, mangoes uh, trees are very uh, commonly visible in the plain areas. Okay, we don't find mango trees in desert or in hilly or mountainous region. So this one is also correct. Mangrove. Okay, and marshy areas. What is marshy areas? Marshy areas where a lot of rain is there and it is damp and wet most of the time. So mangrove type of plants uh, and trees and vegetation occur in the marshy area. Okay, so A is incorrect. B, C, and D is correct. Okay, am I clear? Clear to everybody? Show me the thumbs up, everybody. Great. Okay, very good. Very good. All right. Let's move to the next question. Okay, question number eleven. This food pyramid is broad at its base and becomes narrow towards the apex. This indicates that food items at the bottom should be taken more, and the quantity that should be take taken decreases as we move up. Now, which of the following food items should be taken in more quantity? Okay, so all of you are answering A. Okay, very good. Okay, let's discuss this question. First of all, everybody has seen the pyramids. What is a pyramid? It's a triangular structure like this. Okay, so the base is broad and then it, yeah, it gets narrower on the end. It means that the food which require more in the quantity should be at the base. Okay, and the food which require lesser in quantity should be at the apex. All right. So let's see which is the food that we require in the larger quantity: rice. Yes, we require rice in the larger quantity because rice are rich in carbohydrates, and carbohydrates are the are the energy giving food. Yes, 
no now we are not for growth it is it is required it is an energy giving food it requires for the energy okay cheese we do, we do require cheese but not in very large quantity fruits okay we do require fruits fruits will be uh, need for all the essential uh, vitamins and minerals in our body and oils oils and cheese uh, should be taken in lesser quantity okay so the correct answer will be rice yes exactly and that's why we have rice chapati all these kind of food uh, food daily in our in our daily diet it's a staple food for us okay question number 11 is clear to everybody yes okay so somebody has already answered question number 12 Abhinav, okay, Abhinav, let's read the questions. Question number twelve. Okay, answer the following statement and choose the correct option. Okay, so let's read the statement first. Okay, molars are used for cutting food. Free molars are used for grinding food. So we have like four kind of feeds, right? Can you can anybody name them? The feeds we have incisors, canine. molars and premolars okay all right so molars are used for cutting food yes they are used for cutting food okay premolars are used for uh, grinding food both are uh, both are incorrect no d is not the right option what is the right option both the statements are correct okay okay all right both the statements are correct molars are used for cutting food and premolars are used for grinding food So C is the correct answer. Both the statements are correct. Clear? Clear to everybody? Any doubts? Any question? No. Okay. All right. Let's move forward with question number thirteen now. So as you can see, this question uh, was asked in NSTSC exam in two thousand fourteen. Okay. Why does a zebra blend into its surrounding with its black and white stripe? Okay, what is the answer? <clears throat> Three statements are given in front of you. Let's let's uh, read the statements first. To frighten away its enemies, to hunt its prey without being spotted easily, to prevent being spotted by predators. So, see the the uh, second statement: to hunt its prey without being spotted easily. Is incorrect because uh, zebra don't uh, you know uh, uh, don't hunt. to frighten away its enemies can anybody frighten anybody just by having black and white stripes i don't think so to prevent being spotted by its predators yes uh, uh, the black and white stripes helps the zebra to you know, camouflage itself in the surrounding so that the predators like lion and tiger you know spot it very easily all right is this reason is is understood to everybody and that's why only c will be our answer okay correct to prevent being spotted by its predators predators are like tiger uh, lion those who hunt okay ma'am in 12th b is correct abhinav uh, uh, no abhinav first and second is wrong first and second statements are wrong okay Only third statement is correct. That's why the option C is correct. Am I clear, Abhinav? Okay, that's great. Okay, all right. So let's move forward. The questions. Uh, how are the questions, students? Are they easy? Are they difficult? Or they are average? What do you think? Just write down. How are the uh, like level of question you are you are, you are getting here? easy difficult medium average easy okay okay easy purvi super easy sanvi okay <laughs> all right next easy okay the molars are used for grinding tea and the molars are used for crushing food Yeah, correct. That's what we have done. Grinding and uh, crushing the uh, food only. Super easy. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's move forward with the very, very easy questions. All right, guys. Okay, let's 
move to the 14th question it, it is which of the following causes wind to blow okay so we can sense that wind is blowing whenever uh, we like uh, you know when we, whenever we are outside we can sense that yeah the breeze is blowing the wind is blowing but what causes it to blow so ma'am i have a doubt in question number 10 okay uh, i will take that question at the last let's move forward with the rest of the question okay i will take the doubt at the last okay so right now you answer the question number 14 please let's go with the flow first d and c d d okay all right the rising up of cold air the rising up of the warm air the rising up of the water vapor in the air all of the above okay so first of all you need to understand one thing then so whenever the air is hot or it is warmed up okay so it gets lighter and lighter things will move up or they will sink down tell me this lighter things will move up or they will sink down okay now here we'll see that at the end so move up yes very good girl so when the air gets heated up it moves upward and now when the this heated air is moving upward this place is empty now the cold air comes in the place of this warm air and then this circulation is happening okay yes it replaces it very good okay the warm air is being replaced by the cold air and this gives us the sensation of this gives us the sensation of that wind is blowing so the correct answer will be the rising up of warm air because cold air does not rise up okay and water vapor does not rise up so only b will be the right answer clear to everybody clear understood okay shall we move forward then yes okay very good okay next question all right which of the following animal reproduces by laying eggs okay okay crocodile crocodile lays eggs yes or no we'll go one by one you just answer me crocodile lays eggs okay a no no yes no so cro crocodile is a reptile okay not a mammal so only mammals are the ones those who don't lay eggs so crocodile lay eggs whale whale is a mammal yes or no or it is a fish it lives in water ma'am it is a fish no whale is a mammal okay so whale does not lay eggs whale lays the baby young one give birth to the young one turtle what about turtle turtle lays eggs yes turtle also lays eggs and bat bat is a mammal and it also give birth to the young one so crocodile and turtle lays eggs so first and third so first and third is in option number a all right so option number a is your correct answer okay so team question is clear to everybody and it out any question a okay now shall we move forward guys yeah so remember whale whale is a very confusing uh, confused whale is a fish it lives in the water we say but it is a mammal it lays uh, the young ones okay and similarly bat bat is not a bird but a mammal so these two are here for confusing us okay they have the blow holes also to uh, remove the excess water you can see the videos on the internet all right yes 16th question which of the following conversion is correct so we have to tell which one is correct okay let's see the first one water is heated uh, it is turned into steam yeah it is correct and then we have heated the steam it turns into ice can we make uh, ice from steam by heating it yes or no b b is the answer okay all of you saying b all right yeah so no we cannot heat the steam to make it ice steam is cooled down it turned into water yes this is correct as we can say the water droplets 
and then water is cooled down to get the ice it is also correct so the b part is correct this b question the b statement this conversion is correct steam is cooled down to water and water to ice okay am i clear till here any doubts any questions okay that's wonderful 17th question okay some uh, somebody has answered a a a okay when a pin wheel is placed against wind it begins to spin this proves that okay so like suppose we have that wheel in, in our hand we usually get that from the stairs and if we we'll place it against the uh, you know the when it starts rotating it starts moving so what it signifies moving air has energy spinning wheel has life spinning wheel has energy moving air has no energy so spinning wheel has life that is not correct it is a non living thing it cannot have life spinning has energy uh, no if it had energy by the it was not moving without air it only started moving with air right spinning moving air has no energy no that's false so the right statement is moving air has energy which is making the wheel to move very good the answer is correct all of you have got the right answer great going great 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 enjoying the questions yes students enjoying the questions you can turn on your videos also okay all right okay teen question again we have a question based on a figure okay study the given figure which plant part parts okay like uh, parts have uh, or has or have been incorrectly matched with its function so you have to read the uh, first of all you have to see the parts and then you have to see the function and you have to see whether it is matched correctly or not okay for the first one x x is representing leaves yes yes or no yeah makes food for the plant so leaves make food for the plant yes or no yes it is uh, and what is the name of the process can anybody tell me name of the process with which the leaves green leaves make uh, food for the plant photosynthesis very good navya okay what is the okay very good guys anisha vanya very good okay the b part tell me the name of the b part b uh, the y part sorry y part this y part it signifying uh, signifies which part of the plant stem hold the plant firmly to the ground why is that a stem helps the plant to hold firmly to the ground yes or no no and which part helps the plant to hold it firmly to the ground yes root does very good navya the roots of the plant helps to you know firmly place it in the ground to hold to get a grip in the ground okay okay and the z part z part is representing which part root and the function is absorb water for the plant root absorbs water for the plant yes or no yes it does okay so let's check the answer now okay so only uh only y only y is incorrect right Understood. The C will be your answer. Question number eighteen is clear to everybody. How we have solved all the questions? You should see how I have attempted the question. Okay, to eliminate any kind of error. Very good. Very nice. Okay, let's quickly move to the question number nineteen now. Okay, consider the following statement and choose the correct option. So we have done these type of question. Okay, so now you should be pro with this. The so first question is. protection of soil from erosion is called soil erosion the statement one is is correct yes or no protection of soil is called soil erosion no okay the uh, the eroding of the first layer fertile layer of the soil is called soil erosion the first statement is incorrect second statement is plant is biotic component of the environment plant is biotic component there are two types of components biotic and abiotic so plant is biotic or abiotic biotic very good so we can say that statement 1 is incorrect and statement 2 is correct 
and it matches with which option option number c yes so option number c is our correct answer clear to everybody clear everybody any doubts any questions no very good all right let's move to question number 20 the change that is occurring in the given figure is okay what is the change here we have the ice cube and now it uh, is being turned into uh, a glass of water so we have turned ice into water with which process we can do it answer is coming b yes melting melting is the right answer boiling converts water to steam freezing converts uh, water to ice and evaporation converts water to uh steam again okay so the right answer is melting b very good okay the pace is okay the speed is okay am i moving too fast no okay that's fine very good 21 which is herbivore this is this is easy which is herbivore d c d rabbit is herbivore okay cow is herbivore camel is also herbivore so answer will be d all of the above okay so that you got the right okay all of the following yes correct question number 22 compare ice and water vapor which of the following comparison is not true okay so we have to read the statements and then we have to tell that which is not true okay ice cannot be compressed yes ice cannot be compressed it is solid Water vapor can be compressed. Yes, because it is air. That's why it can be compressed. The first statement is true. This correct. Ice, the part ice has no fixed shape. It is incorrect. Ice has fixed shape, right? Water vapor has a fixed shape. That is also incorrect. Water vapor does not has the fixed shape. Okay, so B is the right answer because both the uh, statements are incorrect. Yes, clear. Okay, let's move to the next question. Okay, which of these teeth are sharp and pointed? Twenty-third question. Answer C, 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 C. Okay, majority of you are saying C. All of you are saying C. So that means it's the correct answer. Yeah, canines are the uh, sharp and pointed teeth. Okay, that helps us to chew the flesh. Okay, all right. Okay, let's move to the twenty fourth question. Big question. Let's uh, understand it nicely and correctly. Greenhouse effect and global warming affects the environment and people's life too. Arrange following incidences in correct order. So, all of you are aware of greenhouse effect and global warming. First of all, are you aware? Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. Okay, first one is loss of property and life and less land for growing the population to live. I think this will come in the last because loss of life and property will be the last thing that we will uh, see. Rise in temperature causing melting ice of north and south poles. Lower as and coastal areas may get flooded. Plus, temperature of earth is rising. Right, risen. Okay, so first of all, the temperature will rise. So. Fourth will come <clears throat> first. Okay, so A, B, and C. Three options have fourth as the first part. Then after that, uh, when temperature is rising, that will cause the uh, ice to melt. So second is the okay A part, and then temperature of fourth will rise, and then the loss of property and life. A land less land for growing the population. So A will be your correct sequence. All right. So all of you have understood how we have decoded the sequence. How we have reached the sequence. We have to read all these statements first of all. Okay. Ah uh, yes, Rishti, you have a question. Please write down in the chat box. <clears throat> yes rishti should i repeat this question guys you want me to repeat the question yes or no 
not get any response no no okay i think it's clear okay drishti if you have any question you can write down in the chat box i will respond to that okay all right great so 25th question in which of the following cases pulley can be used okay 25 25th, 25th answer is, is getting c okay so have you seen a pulley guys like uh, there is a wheel that is placed on the well and then we put the effort in the downward direction and the bucket comes up that is the pulley one example of pulley okay so see okay let's go through the options first to hold the pieces of plastic together i don't think so you need the pulley okay just need the uh, force of your hand for that to cut food we need pulley for that no we do it daily okay when we are eating our food so we don't need a pulley for that to lift a grinder made of iron to lift an iron a thing which is made up of iron so something made up of iron will be very heavy okay so and we have to lift it okay so this just simply the lifting it like this will use the pulley for that that will lessen our effect so yes the answer number c will be correct yes c is the correct answer clear to everybody clear any doubts any question till here we have reached uh like 25th question we have 10 more questions left with us okay i want the energy with you guys all right so everybody show me the thumbs up and yes ma'am you are energetic wonderful why your videos are off open your videos come on let me see your faces yes open your videos correct very good okay somebody has already given the answer for this 26th question you are looking really excited so let's be with your excitement all right okay which the following option is the most appropriate reason for changing day and night uh day uh, d is the answer okay d is the answer which you guys are giving okay let's go through the option first revolution of earth around sun revolution okay what changes do we see because of revolution can anybody tell me seasons very good now sir i must say that you are very um, quick for uh, to give the answers i see star very good seasons one yeah okay all of you are giving giving the answers very good rotation of earth around moon okay revolution of earth around moon rotation of earth on its own axis so there is an earth okay so earth rotates on its own axis like this okay so that is the reason why we are getting the day and night okay this is clear to everybody rotation of earth uh, will be the right answer d will be the right answer clear here shall we move forward yes yes okay so diksha okay uh, shivanji ma'am as we are running out of the time uh, we can wrap up with the last question Okay, straight forward. You want me to move to the last question? No, no. You can uh, take this question, question number twenty-seven, okay. and then we can that. Yeah. All right, fine. Okay, guys. So let's see this question number twenty-seven. It is figure based question. Okay, so I have Peter in completing the labeling of the diagram. Okay, so um, okay, you guys answer me. What is this uh, uh, A part? A part is mouth. Okay, now there others also please answer quickly. A part. Okay, mouth. All right. B part. Food pipe. Okay. All right. And another name of yes, ego pegasus is the another name for food pipe. Correct. C part. Liver. Very good. Very nice. Liver is the largest organ of your body. D part. Stomach. Okay. Very good, Vanya, Diksha. Okay, Abhinav. All right. Very good. And E part, E part, small intestine. Okay. Let's check the options now. A is mouth. So we have mouth in option number A, and in option number D. Then uh, B was our uh, ego figures. So option number B, C is liver. Let's check once. Yes, C is liver, B is stomach, and E is 
small intestine so option number d is a correct option option number d okay so this question is clear to everybody clear okay enjoy the enjoy the questions enjoy the sessions the session Okay, I'm waiting for your answer. I'm waiting for yes. <laughs> Hoping for yes. <laughs> okay, sir. Over to you, yeah. sir. Yeah, sure, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, ma'am, for the wonderful session, okay. and thank you, students, for joining today. So, uh, how was the session? You can write in the chat box. Do you like it? Okay. Easy. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Sadiksha. Thank you, Ashish. Okay. Uh, superb. Okay. Thank you, Vanya. so i am sharing some links in the chat box students okay what you can do you can copy the link and save somewhere okay so this link will help you to join the live classes okay thank you sudeeksha so now we will meet you in the live classes okay students so thank you for joining today thank you shivangi ma'am for the wonderful session all right thank you sir bye okay. bye everyone